Hi, I'm Brian McLaughlin and this is Deep Thought Balloon, little videos about comic stories, pop culture, and other stuff. Let's talk creating comic characters using shape. In my book, Draw Out the Story 10 Secrets to Creating Your Own Comics, I shared these shapes. A sun, sunflower, or maybe one of those blue ribbons you win at the fair, a pair of lips, and basically a lumpy circle, or a Saturn shape. Each of these is also the shape of a famous cartoon character, Lisa Simpson, Dora the Explorer, and Charlie Brown, also Caillou. What's cool about shapes is that it makes your characters look different from each other at a glance, even if you're just drawing stick figures. And it helps make them look different from other people's characters as well, like how these are all cartoon kids, but you wouldn't confuse them. They don't really belong in each other's worlds. It helps you define your own style. Now, no kid's head is actually shaped like this, but it works to separate them from each other and their neighbors. Cartooning involves a lot of redrawing, so keeping your characters simple and easy to remember how to draw makes finishing a comic that much easier. Those examples use shapes for heads, but you can use a shape for an entire body if you want. Use any shape and make it your own. Go wild. Use squares, stars, lumps, or shapes you don't even have a proper name for. Since my book came out, I had a big revelation. Those shapes I chose as examples also mean something. Whether the creators intended it or it was subconscious, all of those shapes help tell you about those characters. Maybe that's why the characters stick with us so well. Lisa Simpson is bright like the sun. She's the smartest, brightest member of her family and kid in her school. She grows taller than all the other flowers planted at the same time like a sunflower. She wins blue ribbons at the science fair model UN or whatever she participates in. Dora the Explorer teaches you to use your lips to speak Spanish. She teaches kids to use their voice to stand up to bullies, asking kids to actually talk to the TV and say swipe or no swiping. Dora is lips that teach you to talk. And Charlie Brown, despite being called a blockhead, is the kind of guy who's had all of his hard edges removed. Him and Caillou aren't sharp and dangerous. But I guess more importantly, it helps them look like an emoji, a generic everyman, a Joe Blow, a Charlie Brown, because they're the character we're supposed to identify with. Scott McCloud's book, Understanding Comics, gets into this really well. How the more detailed a face is, the more it is in our face, and perhaps harder to relate to. And the book is an essential read. If you're thinking that you make more serious comics, and this is kid stuff, look at Chris Ware's Jimmy Corrigan book. Notice the white triangle on the cover? Jimmy wears a v-neck with a white undershirt underneath for most of the book. Why? Because he's looking for his birth father, who he thinks is the actor who played Superman on TV. It's a blank spot waiting to be filled by a Superman logo, which he gets when he reconnects with his family. Spoiler alert, when he meets them, it turns out it's not a good fit, and he goes back to the blank triangle, but he adds a jaunty scarf like a touch of Superman's red cape because he's taking a little of that Superman energy, but not copying it directly. So if you're looking for a way to give your characters a dynamic look, think about the shapes you can give your main characters to subconsciously suggest what they're all about. Think about pairing opposite shapes and personalities to show the conflict that's going to be at the heart of your story. Good luck, and keep thinking Deep Thought Balloon.